standard, more like technically proficient uh, Falco uh, species, but like not really proactive ones. And he like succeeds a lot against Crunch because you know Crunch is really solid, but he isn't like crazy. And I think Crunch Corvo's is really proactive. Okay. Maybe. Oh, maybe. it looks like we're right into it now, though. Falco versus Ices. Um, they counter. They they strike to FOD, which I think actually Ooh. may benefit Ice Climbers here because it makes more. It makes it possibly for high um for shenanigans to happen for odd situations where of course the character that punches harder um, has the advantage. Yeah, that was a really devastating situation. Like, no matter what Drill Boy did, like numbers could have reacted to it and like gotten a wobble a little bit. Presumably, he could have rolled behind him, but even then, like you know, he could have turned around and grabbed. Or he could have gone Gab Attack, but he could have just like shielded on reaction. Yeah, infinite really numbers is really good reaction times too, which I think helps him a lot. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he's no stranger to like playing uh, high reaction time characters, and he's played Fox a lot in the past, so you know, he's got good reaction. So Joy Boy's really been in control for the second stop, but um, all it takes is once, right? He got three grabs in a row, and he got 30%, right? Yeah. But then Numbers gets one tech chase situation, converts off of it, and now we have a dead bird. I really like seeing this part of uh, Numbers' game, the fact that he goes for a tech chase, which is like slightly more chaotic, and the, you know, it makes the choke point not just one interaction, but like a string of interactions where he's, where he's getting like an, an amazing read or mm. an amazing reaction. Oh, that was yeah. absurd. That what was what ridiculous. Good <laughs> so the, the, the issue with this is that Falco, it's not okay for Falco to be in control for 50% of the match, as uh, or even 60%. He's to be in control 90% plus. Because if Ices are ever in control and Falco needs to dodge mix-ups, um, especially when you're not dodging the mix-ups, it's just an ugly look. And uh, here, um, Ice Ooh, is working on a this four stop, and this is oh. no doesn't uh, gets a tech there. So yeah, I'm just gonna get the jab reset wobble, wobble thing. Yeah, no. But I, I, I thought it was gonna be a tech chase wobble there. Tech too. chase wobble. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, but uh, it, at this point, I feel like it's not even a matter of um, if he, if Joy Boy can make the comeback, but whether or not he's gonna get a four stop. I I, th I definitely think that like numbers is uh, neutral is strong enough that you know even with Sopo he can he can even if he had four Sopo stocks right now he could do it. Yeah, that I mean, so flimsy. All you need is a, a straight down smash, a straight up smash, and numbers when he smells blood as a press, he shouldn't have played her as he is. When he smells blood, you will see him throw a smash attack after smash attack after smash attack. And that's something he's not shy about. He understands the flow of the game and he understands where they're likely to hit. That was a great back air. You didn't need two climbers for that. That would have worked with just one. Oh man, nice. that's a Davey He's playing right there. all over Joy Boy as you can yeah. see. He's really like reacting quite well on the outside. So you gotta wonder like what um what Joy Boy's gonna do to kinda counteract it, because you know he kinda was just like he didn't really have a big uh, response to what numbers were doing. So. With with Joy Boy's style. Okay, with, G, uh, with Joy Boy's style right now. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna switch out for our resident ice climbers commentator. Alright, BBB hopping on the mic. We're I got sorry, I was chugging some brain gear. Alright. Brain gear for fatty brain cells. <laughs> Alright, getting right so, into it. So the first match was pretty convincing, right? It was like a three or four stock at the point. But now we're going to uh, Battlefield. Yeah, can you maybe walk through some of the setups that were really dangerous for the first game? Uh, so the first game, I saw a bunch of. Talk so loud. I'm literally right next to Jason. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so um, I didn't really watch two game first intently, so I'm not gonna be able to talk about that. I think there's a Blizzard setup into up air into wobble, which was amazing. Okay. Yeah. Up air very strong <laughs> against Ice Climber, uh, against uh, Falco, especially if it starts, especially when it starts to knock down at 40%. Yeah. Um, here you'll see it doesn't knock down. So he was able to get his shield up as soon as he got up air and, and hit the floor. <laughs> Um, and there were also some really good tech situations that led into Wobble. Yeah, that's why some numbers are really strong. Which, that's, uh, I yeah. think that's been like yeah. a newer part of like the Ice Commerce game since Pound even. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, at that point, like I think a lot of the bread and butter was still like jab grab, but now it's like grab situation into chaotic tech chase into, yep. into Wobble. Or, or into, like I was saying before, the up air. This is a trap. That, yeah, that was just... Oh, as an ice kind of player, it must be close. like it must be so like it, like you, you just see that like that's a hundred percent what he's going for. But yeah. from like an outsider's perspective, looking in, that's still kind of like unobvious. Yeah, it, I mean, it, he's just kind of it's like not an entirely safety thing to throw that blizzard out, but uh, the risk reward is there. Like you can right. get them caught in. Nice save. You can't get them caught in the blizzard and then all of a sudden they want to stop. Right, right. Um, but blizzard <laughs> is uh, SDIable. Uh, you can DI it up. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> Not with yeah, a godly as <laughs> a smash you have for that. <laughs> right, so what are we gonna do here? Okay.
Okay, a little bit of awkwardness because he was facing his back was too Calco, so he couldn't get the shield grab if he wanted to. Um, but yeah. Also, um, I, I feel like if we see interesting desync situations where Nana really isn't tethered to Popo, I'd like you to maybe point that out a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah. Discuss, like, so uh, right here, obviously, uh, Nana not tethered to Popo. No, like, <laughs> Nana's in hell right now. She's yeah, not yeah, doing anything. She's back. So he's gonna start fishing. He's fishing for up airs now. It's uh, good damage. Yeah. The short hop auto control up air has. No one lag. thing. One thing I want to see Joe Boy doing a little bit more is actually doing just harassing with shines. Um, that's a lot harder to punish than his aerials actually. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want to like be too overt about it, but like that is a really good harassment technique that Fox can use to separate. Falco just gets like instead of like separating them laterally, he separates them. Uh, yeah. He's, oh, he, uh, instead of separating them horizontally, yeah, yeah. he gets the pop ups. Yeah. Uh, so that's where Fo uh, Falco is a bit different than Fox. Like uh, he has uh, still an absurdly strong shine. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Um, but his shine, you don't get the quick gimp. You kind of uh, get yeah. like you kind of yeah, get shine like, spikes aren't really a factor. No, you so get, it's kind of different. But every, but every shine you hit, you do get honestly. You feel like I feel like the Falco gets 40 to 60 percent like every shine. Right. So like. If you're getting shined five times a stock by Falco, like you're dead. But you can actually get shined five times by Fox, and then you look at your percent, and then you've, wow. only, and you've only taken the twenty percent. That up air harassment was yeah, yeah great, really great impressive. awareness to chain those up airs into the SMA. I don't know about you, but as an ice counter player, would you have thought about the possibility of just ramen noodling to edge and just grabbing it before Falco? Um, I didn't really see the situation too well. Falco was recovering high, and I thought there was a very high possibility he was just going to sweet spot going diagonally down. Yeah, that's always so, a mix up. It's kind of. I think our seats are pretty bad on the edge. Is there a, a setup where um, you can send Nana to the edge, or is, uh, you can do this like kind of thing where you roll back, uh -huh. you do an up B, uh, ah, and then Nana will kind of do. You can kind of guide uh, Nana to the ledge. You Nana gets to the edge. You're on stage, and you can still up smash up. You're actionable. Yeah. Mm. That but, would be. I think that would have been maybe the better play. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't get the kill, you probably. Man, I'm so excited. It just like there's so much ice counter stuff that like yeah. oh, that yeah. we're still finding out and like trying to optimize. Uh, yeah, you, there's two of them. I mean, that's like. Dude, <laughs> imagine how Smash would be like a V to King played ice climbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need like an ice climbers messiah. Stigma, what was that? They, they just have a really like, a negative stigma, and I don't think a lot of people want to. Be I don't try yeah. them, but. Uh, Something Joy to note though. The first stop. Oh, here comes. Nicely, that was an up air grab. Uh, the up air didn't knock down, but uh, Joe Boy didn't do anything when he landed. It's kind of like a anti air jab in a traditional uh -huh. 2D fighter. We're kind of researching the situation. Um, so uh, under 40, that's kind of how the up air works. What's your favorite anti air jab in the game? Uh, in melee? Yes. Uh, probably Ganon. Nice. Who's Ganon's? Ganon's. I was going to say Ganon or Marth. Yeah, Marth. <laughs> I just feel like an idiot for like running into it. Kind of risky there, but. Joe Bay doing really well this game. Uh, he finally has a lead to work with. Um, I don't know if you would agree with this, but I actually, um, I've been discussing uh, my thought that I don't think it matters too much who has a lead in this matchup. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit less so than in other matchups, where uh, like a, you know, ice Combers just operate like sort of on a different axis. Um, if you get grabbed four times, you lose. But like, how many stocks you have to work with, like. The resources work out a little bit differently. Yeah, like being down a stock. Great setup. Wow. There. He had to smash the eye that. Yeah, he did, but he definitely uh, didn't. Kind of. You have two. You have two things you want to do there. You either want to smash the eye to the ground and become actionable, or right. smash the eye mm -hmm. up out of gravity. There he kind of smashed the eye out, and he was still in front of the ice players. And he never touched the ground, so therefore he had never had a chance to buffer an option. And yeah. It kind of just got snatched right out of the air. Now we've got an even match. I think Choi has been doing a pretty good job this game um, in separating them and making and fighting Nana at a point where Popo can't do too much to retaliate. Mm. So um, one of the reasons like Fox is so good against against Ice Combers is because like he could just separate them and then like pester one while like the other one can't do really too much to help. Um, yeah, I mean. Nana has a lot of trouble getting back to the climbers. Yeah. When they're split up horizontally. Yeah. Um, Sometimes, like when you have them separated, just when you stand in between them, it yeah. feels like yeah, you, almost impossible yeah, for. Yeah, you can actually like kind of by being in front of Nana, you, you the player, the opponent is causing Nana to do like that and mm. roll and stuff like that. So getting that was a really oh, questionable wow. down air, I thought. And uh, yeah. That's, that's probably going to be like the that, set, yeah. right? Yeah, that, that's kind of the stuff that I, when I play Joy Boy, that I catch him with way too often. It's just shield grabbing. You can't be getting shield grabbed. Um, you're not going to win 
games, especially against those numbers. Against any character, to be honest with you. That was you. a good set, yeah. I do feel like that 